Gary Roberts, welcome to Sub 3 Minutes. Thank you. Lauren, a pleasure to have you. This year's your first year qualifying for the games as an individual, is that correct? Yes. And how old were you when you stood up and said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a CrossFit Games athlete? Uh, I started when I was 14, and I probably said I wanted to be a CrossFit Games athlete when I was 17, and my coach, Gabe Subri, at the time was like, you could be really good at this. Did you believe that that was untainable, and then within just a couple of years, you'd be there? I definitely felt like I could, and so um, I just started training like more, like two times a day, and was always there, never missed any training sessions. What would you say your biggest weakness was your first year of competition, 2012? In 2012, it was my strength. 2013? 2013, it was probably my conditioning. In 2014, does Lauren have a weakness? I do, but I'm not going to say. <laughs> You're not going to your weakness? Right no. Now? Now, they say the difference at the CrossFit Games level is that mindset, the ability to uh, break through that, that atmosphere and still compete at that level without getting rattled. Mm -hmm. Now, technically, by definition, you would be a rookie this year, but I'd say what has enabled you to have the success as a young person is you have that mindset already. So do you consider yeah. yourself a rookie coming in here? I still consider myself a rookie going into this year because I'm not sure how my body's going to react to all those workouts, like how hard it's going to be on my body. Do you need a year of the CrossFit Games as an individual to be able to truly close the deal and step on the podium? Will you need that year of experience? Or do you have that expectation that you can get on the podium this year and you're going to do it? I definitely need that one year of experience uh, to get on that podium, but you never know what's going to happen. When you are in the team environment, did you, were you able to focus on your mission and what you were doing solely or was there just a part of you that was watching the individual saying, I want to be there? Uh, last year, I was definitely focusing on my team competition, but I knew at the time last year that I was, like, wasn't ready to go individual, but then there's also that little inside of you that goes like, oh, like I could be doing that, like I want to do that. What's your game plan and training? How many years? do you give yourself before you have that expectation that you're standing <laughs> on that podium and all that hard work and determination pays off? Maybe like two to three years. We'll see. I need, I need an exclusive. I want to know something. That all this media coverage, you're going to get all this hype, but you're exploding as a big CrossFit star. Yeah. I need today a soundbite of something nobody knows about you. Um, something that no, no one, one knows. knows. I make really good desserts, like homemade desserts. Nobody knows that. My brothers do. What's what? I mean, most people don't know that I can bake. Ah, uh, you're a baker. I you? can make the best banana nut bread. Congratulations. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. For your time. Yeah. Awesome. So, three minutes of one fish.